Hello, my name is Ashley. Welcome back to my garden. Today I want to show you how to plant a mango tree very easy and simple way. First of all, uh, usually I start my planting over here, my seedling. So what it is, it's a little bit uh, soft uh, potting soil or little fertilizer with a little dirt. You mix it, make sure that it's soft. Beginning always give water so the dirt will get used to, to the wetness and comfortable. And then you take the seed, mango seed, which you eat regular mango. Make sure that you take the weeds out. No matter how much you do, still they grow. But try to keep it clean as much as you can. So you plant this and you water it, of course, once a day. Because they are seed, they need to have time to grow. And the dirt, it needs to be soft because when it starts to give the roots, the roots, it has to have an easy way to uh, grow. If it's too hard, the dirt, it will have hard time and it won't. So after you plant it about from two to three weeks maximum, you'll see over here, there's one, two and th three avocados. Uh, I'm sorry, avocados, I'm saying mango, it's growing. So what do you do is, like I said, once a week you water it. Now that it grew at this stage, what I do is, I'll take a bucket and put a little dirt again with the planter mixer or fertilizer, which I have over here, I prepared already. And you put, you take the, you'll dig the, the mango, which I will now. First of all, let's open the dirt over here. Let me open a space. You don't have to make it too deep as long as like, you know, the way it grows, you can keep that much the way it is. Don't try to dig it the deep planting the branch, the, the stem. So you just take it out very gently. Do not disturb the, the root. Just very, very gently. You soften it. And make sure, oh, it looks like I planted another one over here, or it's the same root, it's coming out. So open this, let's empty a little bit the dirt over here from the bucket. Let's put it here, and now we'll carry the plant, and we put it in a bucket, and try to take as much with, if there is, you can take it out, and try to go deep this way. And then put the dirt back again, cover the seed. We don't want that to open it. Okay, and then you can add more later on for future plants. All right. See now you see over here the white spa space. We have to cover this. This should be into the root, into the dirt. So we can add a little bit fertilizer from the from the bag or we can add the same dirt that there was. So now you leave this for a whole year like this way and do not disturb. Give water every day and keep it next to the rest of the plant so you, you won't forget because sometimes when you put someplace you'll forget about it and you kill the, the tree. So after a year later what do you do is if you can now it will get harder the dirt. You can just pull it out if you want but I advise you only cut the bottom of the, like you see, the bottom you can cut it with the knife or with anything. And you plant this, you come, let me show you here. After the, you cut the bottom, isn't to disturb the plant, you cut the bottom and you plant it just like the way I planted here. See, this is already three years old tree it is, three, three and a half years. And of course now it just started to go, to give good shoot, nice shoots over here. That you see this much it grew. And maybe in a few years later, you might see mangoes. Most, man most fruit trees, they don't need really to or to graft it. The tree, it gives, it, um, it pollinate itself, it gives fruit. The only thing it will take too much time. But if you have another fruit that it's already giving fruit, you can cut it and you graft it. Hopefully one day I can do it for you to show it. Otherwise, itself it'll go. So this is about like three, three and a half years old tree. It is. So that's what I did. I cut the bottom and let it plant it with the butt bucket. So the roots will go down and it will go and it will become a beautiful tree. Most of my trees, that's how I did it. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you will try it and you will be successful. You'll succeed. Most of my trees, that's how I do, and I get 
plenty of fruits from it. You see on top of my head that this is a dragon fruit that it's growing. The flower it opened and now this part that you see here it's gonna be a fruit. And the flower it's really big and you will enjoy it. Next time I'll show you how to do this one. It's very very easy and simple. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.